Real Madrid find themselves 2-0 down to Wolfsburg, heading into their second leg at the Bernabeu. We decided to look back at the last 10 years to see which sides were able to overturn a two-goal deficit and book their place in the next round of the Champions League. From 2006 to 2011, there were no teams able to overturn a two-goal deficit and win the tie. But in 2012, that changed. It was the last 16 of the Champions League and Italian giants Napoli were drawn at home to Chelsea. Napoli were brilliant in the first leg and condemned the London club to a 3-1 defeat that they'd have to overturn at Stamford Bridge to be in with a chance of progressing to the quarter-finals. Goals either side of half-time gave the Blues the goals they needed to push their way into the last eight. But Gokan Inler fired one back for Napoli, sending their fans into raptures. The cheerfulness was short-lived though, as Frank Lampard converted a penalty to send the tie to extra time. And it was during this eventful period of extra time that the tie was decided. Branislav Ivanovic netted to win the match on aggregate 5-4 to the Blues. A year later, AC Milan were unlucky enough to be drawn against Barcelona, but they took full advantage of playing the first leg at home, beating the Spanish Giants 2-0 in the San Siro. Defending a lead, no matter how big, against Barcelona at Camp Nou was never going to be an easy feat. And a quick-fire double from the Argentine magician Lionel Messi levelled things up before David Villa and Jordi Alba added their names to the score sheet and helped Barca into the last eight of the competition with an emphatic 4-2 win. 2014 saw the passion of another English club when Manchester United came from two goals behind to defeat Olympiacos. It was the David Moyes era, and after losing 2-0 in the first leg, he was desperate for a miracle, and that's exactly what he got. Robin van Persie netted a hat-trick at Old Trafford to give United a 3-2 aggregate win. The same year, and the next round saw French giants PSG clash with Chelsea. PSG won the first leg 3-1, leaving the Blues with it all to do in the second leg, something that they of course managed two years earlier. Their away goal would prove vital, as goals from Andre Schürrle and Dembaba levelled things for the Londoners, allowing them to progress to the semi-finals on away goals, 3 all on aggregate. The final team to go through after losing the first leg by two goals were German giants Bayern Munich. They were shocked by Porto in the quarter-finals of the Champions League in 2015, losing 3-1. But in true Bayern fashion, however, they thumped Porto 6-1 at the Allianz, winning the tie 7-4 on aggregate. Can Real Madrid pull it back at the Bernabeu on Tuesday?